I always tell a woman, if you rely on a man for your sexual pleasures, that's going to be sad because your vagina is not going to receive the pleasure it would. Intimacy Insights Sex Talks, podcast with sharks, where we deliver it raw. You see, the one thing men don't tell women is, we love your vaginas, but we don't need them to ejaculate. We don't. Uh -huh. If you close a guy in this room mm -hmm. for a week and he can't, he has no access to the world mm -hmm. for a week, uh -huh. at some point he's going to get horny and he's going to rub his penis on this towel, this fucking curtain, and this curtain will have a name, Julie or whatever. Trust me, men can be very creative. Mm. Yes. You see this sponge here? <laughs> God, this is a bit hard. But yeah, there you go. There you go. We can find some traction with this. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Give a man some tissue and some Vaseline. Uh -huh. Oh, we're good to go. Whoa, okay. My feeling is by the time a man is in a marriage mm -hmm. and he feels the communication is lacking, yeah. he will try, but he may not necessarily try as hard as a woman. Okay. When he feels his manhood, especially, is being dented by the fact that he's trying and things are not working, yeah. he looks for a different stimulus. People get to a point where they feel obligated to move forward. Hence why okay. I'll say women will ask questions okay. like, who are we, what are we, uh -huh. where are we going? Uh -huh. So now there's an obligational nature in terms okay. of behavior. Whereas before, we were just having fun and there was less tension okay. in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So once that happens, you even find the psychology of the relationship changes. changes. Where now I go from somebody who would lust for you to somebody who's now thinking, it's now my job to take care of her. Okay. So, and with that comes the diminishing of fun element towards you. Okay. And why at some point, I'll look elsewhere for that mental for stimulus. That Lust makes sense. When a woman tells you, I want to make love to me, or if she tells you, I want you to fuck me, which one engages you more? Oh, I'm you know, you know, <laughs> you know which one engages you more. You know. Your, you, even your eyes lit up. You don't want to say which one, but you know which one. Damn! <laughs> you know which one it is. And that's the difference. We have all these lovey dovey oh, terminology. If a woman says, I want to fuck you, things change. There you go. But when she says, I want you to make love to me, you're like, whoa, what does that even look like? That sounds like commitment. Do we have to go shopping after that? You know what I mean? But if she just says, I want you to fuck me. You know the agenda. You know she wants you to tear her <laughs> vagina out. Well, not, not literally, but you oh know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Where will I release my energy the best? And it'll be in the office. I will look forward to seminars more than going home. Seminars are not every day, but every time I'm going to Diani or Zanzibar or South Africa, I'm like, whoa, I am so happy. I have met people who have told me, you know what? I go to work, I love my work, but there's something more than just loving my work. There's a guy who I like, or there's a woman who I like. They don't know I like them that way. And I just look forward to our lunch. I look forward to our coffee. I probably will never tell them how I really feel. But they're the reason why I wake up at four, shower, I'm smiling. My partner thinks I'm smiling because I'm just happy generally. But I'm smiling because I love my job. And I love somebody who for one hour or for whatever chunks of minutes I can steal from them, they make me feel whole. You're not going to stop that as long as we have these very busy environments where people are not showing love. There are men who would say, how would you allow another man to be in your house while you're not there? I'm against those men. Do you know why? They have sexualized that friendship. True or false? Which shouldn't be. I'm actually happy that you are saying that you find your wife and your friends having a heated debate and you're there, maybe you've got your bag, you put it down, you sit down, you also have a drink or you have something to eat and it's just a merry energy of friends. That is so yeah. beautiful. Why people have forgotten that humans are more than sexuality. I love having my friends over. I love to entertain. I love when it's a mixture of men and women and nothing sexualized. We talk from our politics to Ukraine to Kisumu fish to whatever and we're just laughing. Nothing serious.
So later we can reminisce that, hey, when you came over to my place. So, so, and we have game nights where there's a mix of men and women. We team up men and women. And we have a lot of fun. Is anyone trying to cut at the other person? No, but we're just having fun. Why people can't live like that? Why people cannot say what you just said? That today, I'm a grown-ass man who loves playing FIFA. And guess what? That playing FIFA, it eases your heart. So when you confine me to one vagina, I'm going to want as many as I want. Mm. Fact. Because eh. first and foremost, the communication between me and that one vagina may break down. Mm. You need to understand, attraction does not last forever. You see, now people think the alternative of not having monogamy is sleeping around with everyone. That's not the alternative. Ah. The alternative is knowing you have the choice without having to hide. I see. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. When I say I don't believe in monogamy, it doesn't mean that I want to have sex with every woman. Mm. It just means I don't want to be bound to one woman. Mm. When I have a choice, it means I can do it when I want to. Men who don't have the choice do it as frequently as they can because they want to take away the choice. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like when you are a kid and you want to go out and play and your parents say you're not going out to play. When you grow out of your being a child and now you're a grown up and you mm. get all this freedom, how come you're not going out of play? How come you're not clubbing? When you're young, you said you're going to club for the rest of your life. Rules. But now that you're an adult, you've got freedom. What does that freedom tell you? Oh, instead of going out, let me just chill in the house and watch a movie. <laughs> Directions are not felt in the house. Mm. Why? Because love is useless. You have to manifest a lustful nature for each other. Mm. It's important. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. That's the one ingredient. If you look at religion, the word lust has been demonized. We're not driven by love. Love is an emotion. Yes, it is. Yeah. Sexually, it's a very weak emotion. We're told love conquers everything. If it did, there would be no need for my profession. If love, I teach if, men and if, women yeah. about their genitalia. I'm known for conditioning the vagina so the woman can basically own her ability to orgasm. Mm. If I had to wait for her to fall in love with me, I'd have so many women in love with me. Mm. Is that practical? That's no. bonkers. It's just bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> when people go out of town mm. in the Kenyan context, yeah. do any of those people love each other? No, but they love what they are about to do. Mm. about her drinks yeah her fun yeah the drive down the <laughs> sex gonna happen and then you have somebody in the house who the you car love. going up and down there you <laughs> go and in the house there's nothing going up and down we're also overfeeding our kids science today has proven our kids or even us as humans don't have to eat three meals a day that is what we were taught we need to relinquish it because even the person who taught us is no longer doing it your body can survive with very little food as long as it's rich food. The reason why, have you ever eaten a, f a meal and then within two hours you feel hungry again? Yes. And you know you ate quite a massive, so you've been wondering, why am I hungry? Because I don't think there's any space. That's because the carbohydrates cause our mind to think we've not eaten. Entire 30 minutes. He said, hey, dude, hey, I'm feeling a bit. Now I knew what it was. The ingredients in those pizzas. Your stomach is full, but your brain is being told that we're not full. We need to eat. So our kids, were overfeeding our kids. At some point, we're going to have an ob obesity level of kids in Africa that we should not be having. These are lifestyle problems that we are the ones who have adopted them, who have overcome them. Prostate cancer was not a thing in Africa. It is a thing now. Cancer in itself was not a thing in Africa. Now it's a thing. You think it just came from nowhere? It came from the things we are trying to digest. Global warming. The, it, the things we're trying to digest in our systems. We're not giving our systems enough time to digest. I'm not new to sex toys. I've been dealing with sex toys since uh, since the mid '90s. So the only difference between a dildo and a vibrator is it vibrates because it has a mechanism where it's either charged by the same way you charge your phone or by a battery back in the day but today you charge them the way you charge your phone so it's a mechanism that causes it to vibrate whereas a dildo is just stiff mm. you know like, like your muiko to make ugali that is a dildo you're not stuffing ugali it could be 
You know what I'm saying? That is wrong, Kazuara. They owe him sex. But when the woman is the one who wants sex, oh, she's a bit slutty. Oh, her friends are bad influence. Oh, the same friends that you want to bang? Let's be real. In 2024, you see me, I'm getting older, not younger. My mind's getting younger. I'm vibrant. I go to the gym. I'm happy, but I'm not willing to deal with laziness. We're moving forward, not backwards. Yes? If I start an NGO for laziness, I'll tell you. But until then, we're not dealing with laziness. Let's upscale. At men told, we're not many effort. We don't. We're too closed. We need to start opening up. When we open up, what do we open up about? I'm not going to discuss the size of penis with you. Uh, uh, listen, quite women are just sitting now discussing the size of their clitoris. Come on. The problem is we know us men. We rarely share. We rarely share. Especially our problems. All men have money. Yet we're all complaining we don't have money. No one wants to call their friend and say, you know what? I'm contemplating hurting myself. Why? Because things are not working in this house. Already, if you know that random works for you, <laughs> try random more often than the normal. Try it. You've never tried it. Like it a random person. Yes, try random. Try, try, those, try people who ignite those thoughts. Instead of you just having the thought of them, try them. Mm -hmm. you're going for this chiseled look well. in your head mm -hmm. that this this guy yet there's a guy who you'll never give him your time mm -hmm. try him I get and that's why I said let's move away we love protecting the other person mm. we don't protect ourselves enough yeah because what I've heard there is there is something about my psyche sexually that I'm not aligning to. She's aligning to what society wants her to be. And her brain is already telling her sexually, we like random.